Hello ladies and gents, this is Toy Turner with a little bit of a tip video for you guys. So if you press this random button here and you want to join a random server, it occasionally will give you if you have this disabled you will occasionally it will give you like a server you don't really like or if you don't want uh, maybe if even if you enabled it but sometimes you will get be put in a random server you don't want to get. Right? Now, you can use this little feature here, this official service only button, which will filter out each server that is actually isn't official. But there are actually some good non-official servers out there, so personally I don't like using that option, because like it doesn't give you this random pretty good service out there, uh, with some maybe some mods or something, but therefore I wouldn't use this function. What I would choose is more a server browser. But what the black missing basically is is it's it filters out that server from your random search list. Like you won't get that server anymore when you press that random button. Right? Now you can do it like one at a time because if you leave like if you join up the server and you leave between in like thirty seconds or one minute it will ask it will ask you if you get back in the, to the menu it will ask you do you want to blacklist the server but you it only will only ask you that if you like leave in then 30 or one seconds or one minute i'm not sure and it only will do it one at a time so what i would personally do is i would just use the server browser for this right so there is some servers there are some servers out there that i personally don't really like for example um, one that I don't like is the Saint servers. So we type in the Saints and we got all of these Saint servers. Now I could like click <laughs> one of the time. Uh, one little thing about the Saint servers is they offer like premium content. That's the reason why, why I don't really like them. Uh, it's, it's a little bit P2 win and I prefer not seeing that in TF2 could, because TF2 the major thing for me the major important thing for, for me is it's very balanced and on the on those servers is really not so therefore uh, personally I don't really like the servers and I try to avoid them if I can so of course we're not going to select all uh, all the ones uh, I mean uh, every single one of them and add them to blacklist uh, it's right click to blacklist by the way but you can also add them favorites if you want to to uh, what I would personally do is I would click the first one, scroll all the way down, hold shift, and add them to the blacklist. Right, and maybe control A works? No, it doesn't. Control A doesn't work. So, select all of them using the shift key, and then add to blacklist. So now, they're all into the blacklist lists, and you won't be getting them when you press, again, this to random the button right here. So what you can do is you can see them here and do the type of blacklisted servers in the server browser and you can again remove them if you still want to. And there's also for example if, if that with your favorites you put here in here your favorite ones that you enjoyed using maybe the same function and let me have for a second to remove all these and to maybe refresh. For example you can Add them to favorites as well, or maybe if you use server, server info, whatever. And using this function, favorites, it, they are easier to find. You can also use the history tab, which lists all the servers you have been playing on for a while or something. And you can say, like, uh, I remember this server, I like this one, I will add it to favorites, for example. Anyways, I was just, this is just a little recommendation, you can use this tool. To pull out the servers and you can press this one button without any concern whatsoever. Thanks for watching and take care folks.